On this episode of Northern News, we'll showcase our recent Blue and Gray Week at the high school, see a design project from our engineering department, take a look back at a great community event, show off our virtual petting zoo, hear from a Northern graduate, and check in with some of our favorite teachers. All that and more on this episode of Northern News. I'm Ashley Walsh and welcome back. In our top story, Northern recently held their annual Blue and Gray Week. This year, instead of a physical competition, students participated in various events to help benefit a local charity. Michaela Meehan has the story. From March 1st to March 5th, Northern celebrated Blue vs. Gray in a series of virtual competitions. Through games and classes, dress up days, or other activity points were added to the overall scoreboard. This year's goal was a monetary donation drive for Trinity's Table, a local food pantry that feeds 200 families a week. Hi, my name is Avery Flynn. I've been a Blue and Gray captain since freshman year. And although the pandemic has thrown a little bit of a wrench into things, we are still having Blue and Gray this year, but it's just gonna be a little bit different. So this year, instead of having a theme where it's the blue team versus the gray team, we are gonna be working together to help raise our community and try to bring each other together. So to do this, we are still gonna have a spirit week for every way to get involved in. We are also having a charity for Trinity's Table where we will be donating money to help Trinity's Table, which is an organization which is out of Bordentown. And there will be a link where students can donate. And we're still having a competition this year, so it will be blue versus gray, but it's just with competitions that help our community. So we're gonna have a competition to see which team can raise the most money, we will also have competitions in classes where students can participate and teachers will be running those. And yeah, so we really hope you guys participate and get involved in some way. We know it's been a really difficult year and we just wanna bring some school spirit back into our community and help each other out a bit. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, you can always reach out, but we hope you guys really enjoy this week. Great job to all the students and staff involved. For Northern TV, I'm Michaela Meehan. Northern Burlington's teachers are one of its most valuable assets. Every day they bring dedication, expertise, and caring to their classrooms and ask for nothing in return. In effort to pay tribute to them and thank them for what they do, we want to dig deeper into who they are and what drives them in this episode's Teacher Spotlight. Hello, I am Vivian Bender, also known as Sergeant Bender or Mama Bender. I am one of the Air Force Junior ROTC instructors here at Northern Burlington High School. What I enjoy the most about teaching is the interaction with the students and also the opportunity to mentor them. I love seeing when they see the connection between what they are learning and how those life skills will help their personal and professional lives. My favorite food is pizza with extra pepperoni and extra cheese. And my favorite kind of music is gospel music as well as inspirational instrumental music. I enjoy reading books on leadership, spending quality time with my family, and watching Hallmark movies as well as the HGTV channel. One fun fact about me that students may not know is that I was a guest on the talk show, The View. It was when it was hosted by Meredith Vieira, Star Jones, Joy Behar, and also Lisa Ling. The producers wanted to do a show to support the women um, that were deployed during Operation Enduring Freedom. And so it was a great opportunity. I had a lot of fun in New York and doing that show with them. Um, it's been a pleasure telling you a little bit about myself. I hope you all enjoyed and take care. Bye-bye. Hi, my name is Mark Irvin, also known as Sarge. I teach Air Force JROTC at Northern Burlington High School. I'm also the coach for both the drill team and color guard team. 
What I enjoy most about teaching, I've been teaching 13 years, so it is difficult to decide. But if I had to choose one thing, I would say it would be mentoring our students, both inside and outside the classroom. My favorite food is thin crust pizza. My favorite music is 80s rock, which is ironic because I didn't care much for it in the 80s. And I also enjoy country music. My interests and hobbies, I'm a diehard Buckeye fan, so I follow everything Ohio State. I also like to read, I like to do landscape around the house, and I also like taking drives through New Jersey horse farm country. A fun fact students may not know about me, well, in 1995, I was asked to be in a commercial for American Airlines, and I was paid $50 an hour during the filming. The commercials aired in 95 on all the 24-hour news channels. Thank you. Across campus at the middle school, agriculture students participated in a virtual farm show. Our reporter has the inside scoop. What do ducks, maple syrup, and butter have in common? I'm Dr. Robin McLean, one of the middle school agricultural science teachers at Northern, and recently our middle school students got to explore the Pennsylvania Farm Show virtually. Traditionally, the Pennsylvania Farm Show is held in Harrisburg in early January. It is the largest indoor agricultural exposition under one roof in the nation. However, as many things have gone, this event went virtual and provided the perfect opportunity to help our students explore what the agricultural farm show focuses on agricultural literacy and awareness that agriculture is everywhere around us the live stream of the ducklings and the bee cam were one of the activities that we experienced we also conducted a scavenger hunt of the farm show over two days. This scavenger hunt included talking about the butter sculpture that was created and traditionally happens, but didn't this year, and also visiting an area of the farm show virtually called Ag Explorers. In the Ag Explorers, students studied different areas of agriculture in Pennsylvania, which is also similar to many of the areas we have in New Jersey. They discovered goats, bees, organics, maple syrup production, and more. This Ag Explorer component had short video clips and descriptions. They also got to discover the virtual exhibits. These exhibits had categories such as farm to table, feeding the future, home and garden, and more. Additionally, students were challenged to visit the culinary blog and explore recipes made from products that can be purchased through the agricultural production in Pennsylvania. So what did students react to? Well, their ideas for the butter contest included traditional items like flowers and cows and dogs, but they also suggested creating butter sculptures of cars, books, Dwight from The Office, Jalen Hurts, doves, and more. What was the popular recipe that students were choosing and reflecting on? Two of them showed up. One was Pennsylvania bacon jam, and another was ranch potatoes. This activity of bringing students virtually to the Pennsylvania Farm Show allowed our students at Northern to experience a broader scope of agriculture and see the industry that feeds and clothes our nation. During FFA week this year, Northern hosted a virtual petting zoo. Students with pets were asked to participate by taking pictures of their animals to share with others. Let's take a look at some of the students who participated. Hi everyone, I'm Heather Infanti and I'm here with Gypsy. She is my black French Moran hen. She is not even a year old yet 
and the uh, breed, the Black French Moran, they have uh, their dual use, so they're either for egg production or for meat. She's quite heavy. She is a chunky girl, so, um, but she's very friendly and very sweet, except she just doesn't like to be held. So there she goes. Um, thank you, and I hope you enjoyed the petting zoo. Great job, everyone. For Northern TV, I'm Logan Stewart. Northern has hundreds of students who graduate each year and go on to a variety of post-high school endeavors. This month, we spoke to a grad about the exciting activities he's involved in and even have a video project that he helped edit using some of the video skills he learned here at Northern. Hey, Greyhounds. My name is Blake Waterman, and I'm part of the Northern Burlington class of 2016. I am currently a college student at Colorado State University Pueblo in Pueblo, Colorado. I am majoring in business management with an emphasis in sports management. At Northern I was involved in multiple sports including being on the bowling team for two years, being the football manager, and being a two-year manager for the softball team under coach Tara Corcoran. I was also involved in the yearbook club, involved in class council for class of 2016, and I was also part of Northern Burlington's FFA chapter. And if I was to say something to a current Northern student, you know, it's crazy times that we live in and just keep on doing what you gotta do and try to make it through. You guys are greyhounds and greyhounds are tough and you guys got this guys. Keep up the good work. This past winter, Northern Seniors participated in an event hosted by our parents in our community. Let's hear from one of the members of the class of 2021 who participated. This past winter, local parents and community members celebrated our high school seniors with free donuts in an outdoor meetup. Donuts for Seniors was a very kind event that the parents of, of all the seniors held for us. We all went to Dunkin' Donuts in Columbus and each of us went to a table, picked up a donut and took a picture with a sign for the yearbook and it was really kind and sweet that they did that. Um, it was a lot of fun and we were able to see our friends that we haven't seen in a while since the cohorts. So. A special thanks to everyone who participated. For Northern TV, I'm Michaela Meehan. Northern Burlington's engineering department recently placed as a national finalist for an adaptive technology they created to help a member of our school community. Our reporter Kat Skelza has more. Engineering students recently participated in the ITEEA's REACH Challenge, a design thinking project for STEM students to use their skills to reach a member of their community who has a challenge to overcome. Hi, my name is Stephen Lawrence and I'm an 11th grader. For the REACH Challenge project, my team created a multi-purpose handle for our user who has a rare disorder known as agenesis of the corpus callosum, which makes it hard for the user to hold specific items or many things, but for our specific prototype, we created it for the sole purpose of helping her pick up different items with the multi-purpose handle. And for my part of the project, I was assigned as the documenter, in which I document the research onto our technical paper. And throughout the project, I learned many different things, but the biggest thing that I took out of it was I learned how to invent uh, certain items for specific people in mind such as our user expert in this project and I'm happy that I got the chance to help our user expert with our invention for this prototype. I think the idea is wonderful. Um, the idea that this can tighten onto different objects, brilliant. Uh, she actually was able to grab it um, and hold on to it a lot easier um, than trying to hold on to the thin knife. The thin knife with her fingers doesn't work. For us, it's, it's believe it or not, very difficult to like cut things. Um, and for her, with her motor skills, it just didn't work. But this was um, so much better because it was nice and round. Um, 
You also want to, in the future, for other kids, I mean, if you're thinking about making this a product, um, just have it different sizes, or maybe it was a little squishier, so they could squeeze it um, uh, to use. Um, but other than that, it was a great idea. Um, I think that we're all into something. Um, if this could slip into all sorts of things um, outside with her, uh, with her uh, gardening tools, um, anything that, that was too thin for her little fingers, um, when she uses to help me bake things, um, we could slide the spatula um, into here, the silicone spatula in here. I think this is a great idea. So we are on to um, helping, definitely helping Sarah. Our third finalist is Northern Burlington County Regional High School led by Kyle Schreiner. He and his students created a multi-use handle for a pier to be able to more, be more independent. The great thing about their design was it could adapt cutlery, a toothbrush, and many other items to meet the needs of their user expert. Great job to everyone who participated. From Northern TV, I'm Kat Skelza. Thanks for joining us on Northern News, and be sure to check out the rest of our programming on YouTube, and be sure to follow us on Twitter to keep track of what we're up to. For Northern TV, I'm Ashley Walsh. Um.